What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over the new Captain America Bucky Barnes, the new Bucky Cap. So we got the box here in the new White Avengers box. Um, so he's looking pretty good on the front here. We've got some art on the side, some comic book art. On the back here, got a shot of him with the accessories. And then on the side, we have another shot of his avatar. I think that's a digital rendering. Uh, but yeah, let's crack this thing open and see the new Bucky cap. All right, so here is a look at the new Bucky cap with all of his accessories. Uh, he's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him. I'll just move the accessories aside real quick because we'll take a closer look at Bucky here. Um, he's on the new Vulcan body, which is really nice. Uh, we all know <laughs> that the old Bucky cap body was used to oblivion. So many figures were used with the old Bucky cap body. And it's nice to finally see them using new body sculpts. Um, I'm really happy with this Vulcan body. Uh, yeah, overall, I mean, what a good looking figure. There's a few things that I have to say about some of the things with this figure, but we'll get into that shortly. All right, so taking a look at Bucky's head here, it's looking pretty good. Um, it kind of looks like a Steve Rogers kind of look, but I mean, I have uh, Steve Rogers right here. Grab him real quick. So as you can see, two different chins going on. Bucky's head's a little bit thinner or leaner than, uh, than Cap's here a cap side um, but yeah I mean looks pretty good I'm really happy with how that looks um, what's really cool is that this a right here is actually sculpted on it's not painted on so that's cool his little wings here on his side are made of a softer plastic so you don't really got to worry about those breaking off yeah overall I'm really liking the head sculpt um, and then moving to his body here same thing the star is sculpted on which is really nice it's not painted on and uh, as you can see, there's a bit of uh, lines going through the paint, even on the, the top of the head here, you got this line coming through, but it's not too bad. Like I, I wouldn't really notice that when, when this is displayed. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then down here, the stripes are also sculpted. So not just painted on these red ones right here. So that's pretty dope. And then moving to here, to, and then moving to the side here, he's got his star on the arm right here and on the back he's got another star which is also sculpted on and then the peg hole for his shield and then checking out his belt it's pretty dope he got the uh, bottle holder right here and then all these different bits on his belt his knife holder and then his gun holster and these two bits at the front um, and which he can actually twist with which is pretty cool um, yeah and then overall the legs are just black and then he's got you know his the typical boots that Marvel Legends likes to use at least I think they uh, they're some of the boots that they use maybe these are new I'm not sure comment down below and let me know if these boots are new or not but yeah that's a closer look at Bucky here overall he's a good-looking figure now like I know this isn't anything to do with the figure because I think in the comics he's this color, but ultimately I think I would prefer a color that's like this, a little bit less like metallic looking, but I think that's how he looked in the comics. So I can't really dock a point off Hasbro for that one. I think, uh, I think that's pretty accurate. He's also got these little cuff things on his hands, which I think are supposed to be like part of his glove, but they, do, they can come off if you want to take them off when you take the hands off, but yeah. So cool. That is your new Bucky cap. All right, so taking a closer look at his accessories, we got the shield, which looks pretty good. However, there is a few things going on with the shield that I don't like, um, especially back here. It's got a bit of a hole here. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, the shield from a distance looks pretty, go uh, pretty cool, but Got to get it at the right angle where you're not really seeing all this kind of thing going on. And once again, I think that's due to obviously the metallic paint. I don't know what kind of paint it is, but whatever kind of paint they use, it does this. And eh, I don't know, I'm not really a fan. I think I'd rather just not have that metallic look, but to each their own. And then it obviously comes with the traditional peg and holder thing. Um, but actually, I think this is a little bit fatter than normal. Let me grab the Captain America shield here. Are they the same or are they a little bit? I think this one's just a little bit bigger, which could help prevent snapping. So I guess that's good. 
We got his gun here, which looks pretty good as well. And then we have his knife. I think this is the knife that they used with the original Bucky Cap. I don't have the other figure, so I can't compare it, but I'm pretty sure this is the same knife. And then his alternate fist hands. All right, let's have some fun and get Bucky all geared up. So we got his gun here. Let's put that in the holster. It's a little bit of a pain to get it in there, but we got it. I think as it's at an angle, so it makes it a little bit awkward to get in the holster. Um, all right, I assume it might be the same thing for the knife. Uh, yep, that's right. Get the knife in there. Can we get it in? There we go. That's not too bad. Cool, looking good. I think I'm going to leave his fist hands off for now. We'll just chuck his shield on. Let's actually get it on his arm here. Boom. Bucky Cat. Maybe get his knife out. Get your knife out. Get ready for combat. You're not necessarily, uh, what's his name? Steve Rogers. So you're going to have a gun and a knife on you. <laughs> so, yeah. Looking good, Bucky. I actually wish it was Bucky who became Captain America in the MCU rather than Sam Wilson. Nothing against Sam Wilson, but I just think Bucky's cooler. Although I guess I can see how that's kind of messed up because he killed a bunch of people and yeah, maybe they, they didn't really want to make him the new Cap. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but yeah. Looking pretty good. All right, so for articulation, we have the Vulcan body. So most of you guys probably know how this articulates. Um, what's kind of cool though is the new uh, sculpting here and here on his head and his chest and on his back. Um, I think that's how all reuses should be, but yeah, that's besides the point. Let's get into that articulation. So his head looks down about that much, looks up about that much. So nothing too crazy in the head department. It can tilt. Pretty good side to side, it's not bad. Yeah, not too bad. He can uh, obviously turn side to side, full rotation for you freaks that like to pose your figures like this. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, T-pose, pretty good. He's got butterfly joints, but some of you guys may like to mod it so they can get a bit further. Um, try to give you guys the best perspective. It's about as far back as you're going to get it. And then forward, not too much. You're not going to get too far forward. Yeah, so that is the butterfly joints. Uh, we get the upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, your wrist rotation and wrist hinge. Got ab crunch, which goes down about that far. Not that far back got the wrist or wrist <laughs> waist 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 whoa i can't speak waist rotation which is pretty good because you have all this stuff on his belt so being able to do that without you know stuff going crazy that's good kicks up about that high so that's actually pretty good well he looks like a karate master let's go so it kicks up pretty high it's actually pretty good um, kicks back, not very much, a little bit to the side, comes out pretty far and then all of this can kind of bend. So that's pretty good. Has upper thigh swivel, mine's a little bit tight, but it is there. Uh, double jointed knees. Ooh, that's a tight knee. Can we, <laughs> oh, that's a, that's kind of the thing about new figures. Sometimes they're really just tight and hard to. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. Double jointed knees. All right. Gonna have to mess around with that. Put them in some hot water or something. And then we got the boot swivel, boot hinge, and the boot rocker. So that is Bucky Cap's articulation on the modified Vulcan body. Oh, and pinless joints, of course. Here he is standing next to Steve Rogers, Captain America, and this is honestly just my favorite Captain America. Nothing beats this Captain America, at least for me. But yeah, I mean, they look pretty good together. Um, Cap, Steve Rogers Cap here obviously looks a little bit bulkier. He's got some, some of these bolder shoulders. 
<laughs> he trains shoulders every day. Um, I'm not sure in the comics if Steve Rogers is supposed to be like much bigger than Bucky because I know they're both like roided up on the soldier, soldier, super soldier serum. Whoa, that was a tongue twister. Um, so let me know in the comments below if uh, if Rogers is a little bit more roided up than than Bucky here. But yeah, they look good together. And I think there's a comic run where um, when uh, Cap comes back as Commander Rogers, uh, Bucky stays like this for a while. Um, so there's these two together as well. I changed his head, obviously, as you guys can see. I replaced it with uh, this Cap's alternate head, his unmasked head, because I just think that looks a lot more like Steve Rogers than the hideous head that this one came with. So that's pretty cool. They look a little bit better proportion there. I mean, this one just, it just looks a little, it looks a little bit too roided out for me. I don't know. I love this cap. This is my favorite cap, but those shoulders, man, that looks a little bit more accurate. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it does have bolder shoulders. <laughs> yeah. These ones look really good together though. I'll probably display these together because this cap is with my Avengers. So yeah. All right, so that is the new Bucky cap. What do you guys think? Is it worth the upgrade? I think it is, obviously. I mean, that old Bucky cap, that body has been overused to oblivion. Like I said before, this is a worthy upgrade. The Vulcan body is a great body sculpt, um, maybe besides the butterfly joints, but you guys can modify that, I'm sure. But besides that, I mean, great figure. I think it's great, besides a little bit of the paint as well. Um, but besides, 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 I'm just saying besides every five seconds, it's just a great figure and I like it and I hope you guys like it too. Um, there obviously could be improvements, but there always can be. What Hasbro figure is perfect? I don't think any is. Well, there's one that's almost perfect, but I'll talk about that later. Anyways, guys, <laughs> it's a lot. It's been a late night. Uh, I need to get to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And thank you guys. Just want to give you guys a shout out for my previous video with the Deadpool. Uh, what's his name? Bob. Hydra Bob. That review did really well. Super stoked about that and I appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the subscribing and the liking. Super stoked about that. All right, guys. I guess that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.